All right, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking out today's video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best landing page for a service business. And you can use this literally for any business in any niche. So we're going to go over nine tips that you should know, but don't. And so if you're new to the channel, my name is DG Funnels. I help businesses make money online using sales funnels. So if you don't know, now you know. But let's go ahead and jump right in. These tips aren't going to be in any particular order, so I'm just going to kind of spit them off as, as I go. So uh, first and foremost, when it comes to a landing page, it's very important that your message and your call to action, that they align. So it really needs to be laser focused and laser targeted to the specific thing that the traffic is looking for. So whatever that thing is, whatever, whether it was a keyword, whether it was a Facebook ad, um, whether it was a social media post or, or some other form of traffic, when they reach your landing page, it should speak to a direct solution for the problem that they're having for, for what you wanna solve. Um, keep in mind that you're only gonna have about five seconds to, to really make a strong first impression. So some people refer to this as above the fold, as you could see on the screen here. Um, really what you gotta do and what you have to convey right away is how your service or solution is going to help them and how are they going to get it, right? So you gotta tell them what you're providing how it helps them, and then how can they get it? And you got to do that all really, really quick. Um, the next thing that I always like to make sure that I mention whenever you're looking at any type of landing page is you want to make sure that you're listing at least three benefits as they relate specifically to the problem that they want to solve. So don't just list three random things about all the different services or things that, that you can provide. Again, keep it laser focused, laser targeted. The next is that use a video. Uh, VSL, video sales letters are phenomenal. It is a way to keep people engaged and keep them on your page longer. Video is by far uh, the most popular form of consumable content on the internet. So it only makes sense that when you have a landing page that you also incorporate a video onto that landing page as well. The next thing that I wanna mention is social proof. It is really important that you have social proof on your landing page and it doesn't have to all be video testimonials it can be screenshots from uh, dms text messages um, reviews on review sites you name it so however you can get them make sure that you utilize them and then one of the newer things that i've been seeing on a lot of landing pages especially for service business and i'm going to scroll down here are the steps as far as what is it going to take? What do they have to do to be able to get the thing that you're offering? So for example, step one, click the button. Uh, step two, put in the email. Step three, get a quote or whatever, whatever that process is. Um, or it could be step one, get a quote. Step two, we come out. Step three, sit back, relax. We complete the service, whatever. So whatever that's that's going to be, you want to incorporate and include those steps because it just helps people uh, have the right expectation. And once that expectation is set, they're more likely to go ahead and move forward in, in terms of taking the action that you want them to take. Now, the next thing is, is if you have any trust badges. So for example, uh, I left a spot here on the landing page, but this would be things like if you've been featured in any publications, if you've received any special awards, or if you are a top 100 or 500 or, or whatever it is, any type of accolades pertinent to the solution that you're providing, go ahead and, uh, and incorporate that. It can only help. Don't make it too gaudy and too big. It's really just, uh, again, just one of those subtle cues that you're going to that you're going to use to be able to build trust with your traffic. Um, and then the next thing that I want to mention to you is button location. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make is they don't have their button close enough to the top of the page. So you want to make sure that you have a button uh, definitely at the top of the page. And then if you are going to um, have a, a little bit of copy like you see on this one, then you, you want to also have a button on the bottom of the page. And the thing is with this button is that you want it to, when they click, you want it to automatically take them back to the top. Okay, so don't 
make people scroll. You want to make the process as easy for them as it can possibly be. So that way, all they have to do is take action. And there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. That way you can receive notifications every time we release new content on the channel. That's going to help you convert more customers and make more sales from your online marketing efforts. Also, I want to mention to you that there is going to be a link in the description below where you can access my free training where I show you how to leverage OPM. That means other people's marketing in your service business and that's a free training uh, go ahead and check that out because it's really going to help you especially if you're just getting started and maybe you're feeling overwhelmed and you're thinking that you have to come up with all of this stuff on your own in actuality you don't but i won't spoil that um, if you're interested in that go ahead and, and check it out and uh until the next time peace